Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, good evening, everyone, and thank you, everyone, for joining in. This is really marvelous. Everybody, we kept to time. But guess what? Daddy was already home before most of us. But we thank God. We are very privileged. And thank you for all the greetings that you sent to, to Daddy already. We are very privileged. Now, if you permit me to say it in my, in my, in my language, you say, Anu Lariga, Uri Ofe Lariga. We are very privileged, the most privileged to have our Daddy, our Father, the Father of Christianity in Nigeria and the Father of all of us to be in our midst, to minister to us. It is a great privilege and we don't take it for granted. Thank you very much, Daddy, for joining us tonight. And we believe and we know that tonight is going to be marvelous. There will be great deliverance. The people of God will possess their possession in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, daddies and mommy, brothers and sisters, new creature family, please join me together as we welcome our daddy, our father in the Lord, the president of the Christian Association of Nigeria and the president of uh, Nigeria Baptist Convention in the person of, with all reference, I'll call, my daddy's name is Reverend Dr. Shupo Ayokunle. Good evening, daddy. We are very pleased God to have you. God bless you, really good. Amen, amen, daddy. So over, so daddy will be ministering to us tonight in this edition of PUSH. And I uh, can assure you that nobody that in here today will go back the same way they came in the name of Jesus. Amen. Over to you, Daddy. To God be the glory. Amen. Great things he has done. I want to appreciate the opportunity given me to talk to the people of God, to encourage you and the fission of this program my brother, Dr. Davis, for having time for this and for being like one of the children of Issachar who understood times and knew what Israel ought to do. Prayer is a dynamite. It makes, it makes things to happen. For those who believe in it, pray, no prayer goes in vain unless you don't pray in the name of Jesus, and on, you don't pray by faith. Also, if you don't pray according to the will of God, the expected answer will not come. But no prayer is wasted that is prayed by faith and also in the right direction. The Holy Spirit helps us to pray in the right direction. And tonight, we are going to pray in the right direction. And Lord God, who has promised to answer, who did not Tell the children of Jacob to seek him in vain. We speedily answer you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My, the title of my challenge, encouragement to us, brief challenge, is your season of recovery and divine vengeance is here. Your season of recovery and divine vengeance is here. I read from Obadiah chapter 1, from verse 17 to 18. Obadiah 1, 17 to 18. Of course, it has only one chapter. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and before them. And there shall be, shall not be any remaining of the house of Israel, for the Lord has spoken it. Beloved, 
There are many seasons in the life of any human being. We have a time of hardship and a time of breakthrough. Sincerely speaking, this year, many people have passed through hardship as a result of COVID-19. Other challenges of life have brought pains to the lives of people in different directions and different degree of severity. Whatsoever might be the hardship you have been experiencing, either to or that you had experienced, God sent me to tell you that a new season of divine vengeance is coming upon the agents of your hardship in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, a man. New has arisen from above. Help has arisen for you. God has decided to take your battle as his own battle. Amen. And your new season of breakthrough, your new season of abundance, your new season of prosperity is beginning right away in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, if you believe me, whatever you are hearing me, let me hear you say a thunderous amen in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Israelites that we read about them in this passage of Obadiah passed through the hardship of their lives when they were moving from Egypt, delivered from one slavery to the promised land. But that was not without other forms of hardship which they experienced. From Egypt to the promised land was not an easy experience for the children of Israel. In fact, at the time, the Bible says that the soul of the people became discouraged because of the way. I don't know the way you are passing through and you are becoming discouraged. It has been like that for the saints who possessed the promised land before and the law that sustained them, that took them through to the promised land. The same God is on the throne. Amen. The same, age, um, okay. the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. He will, he will, through, he will see you through. Amen. In the mighty name of God. Let me remind you that all times never last. It is tough people that do. The Bible says, if you become discouraged or you faint in the day of adversary, your strength is, not, is, is, is small. God does not want your strength to be small. But in the day of adversary, he wants you to stand by faith. It is only by faith and prayer that you can stand. Prayer because God is a prayer and sing God. And he is the one that has commanded his children. And he does not promise what he cannot deliver. The Lord... Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. David is a liar. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's continue to pray. The connection in Nigeria is a bit shaky, so let's continue to pray. David is a liar. Amen. Amen. Daddy will be back now. Amen. 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 Let's continue to pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you for taking control. We thank you. We thank you. Let's continue to pray. Let's continue to thank the Lord for a wonderful program that the Lord has given us tonight. Let's just thank him. Let's thank him. Let's keep thanking him. It's our season of praise. Daddy will be back in a few minutes. It's our season of praise. 
Yeah, Lord, we thank you. We glorify your holy name, Daddy. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We give you glory in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, thank you because we are possessing our possession in the name of Jesus. Either the enemy likes it or not, we are possessing our possession in the name of Jesus. We are possessing our possession in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let's begin to thank the Lord. Let's begin to thank Him for the things He said to do tonight. For the deliverance he has done already let's just thank him let's begin to thank him lord we thank you we thank you we thank you we thank you daddy thank you lord thank you lord in jesus name amen so while we wait for daddy to come back please stay online stay tuned please don't go anywhere don't go away and the lord servants will be here in one minute so we're just going to have a music uh, the choir, the music interlude. The Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Your name upon me. Breathe. Your name or is your name. Breathe, Lord. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Say, Father, of the joy, Father, to shout, Spirit to speak in me, Rising by your word. And we will all be alive. That's how I come alive. That's how I change my world. That's how I change my world. Say, Father, to joy, Father, to shout, Keep your blood alive. That's how I come to die. That's how I take my word. That's how I change my world. Just breathe your name upon me. Just breathe your name upon me. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. We have our daddy back in our midst. I told you the devil is a liar. Thank you. Yes. So over to you, daddy. Let's do daddy Sorry back for this break in communication. Yes, sir. That was the disappointment from technology because technology was made by man. It can fail. Yeah. Sorry yeah. for that. Yes, sir. I, I, I prophesy to this technology, you will not fail us again. Hey, in the man. Man. There are so many ways in which an individual can experience hardship. And if you are passing through tough time now, I don't know which way your hardship is coming. But in whatever way it is coming, the agents of hardship in your life, God has decided to take battles to their doors. And the Lord is going to fight the agents of hardship in your life hands down right away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hey, Let man. me quickly identify from that passage some of the ways in which hardships come. Number one, in this passage, we saw foulness that was done against Israel by Esau, their own brother, their not only Esau, the surrounding nations that hated Israel. That was the violence that was done against the, they attacked them on their way to the promised land. They blocked them, they didn't want them to cross over. All the agents of evil that don't want you to cross over, the Lord will crush them. In the mighty name of Jesus. As you cry to God tonight, help will arise for you from everywhere in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Your own, your own the violence against you may be a father abuse. People just abusing you because of the situation you are you are in. They are saying that derogatory things about you, or they are giving you bad label. Labeling that didn't belong to you. 
making people to see you the way they should never have seen you. Turn to hell because you know how to call upon the law. And the Lord God of heaven will send his menacing spirit to chase away the agents of hardship in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Number two, you may be experiencing conspiracy. I saw here in verse 11 of that passage. Esau experience, I mean, Jacob experiencing conspiracy from his own brother Esau. The one that was supposed to rise to the aid of his own brother to help him decided to join hands with those who hated his brother to add insult to injury for their own blood brother. And especially you are experiencing people who pity you, people who should identify with you, people who should come to help you at this time. They are making jest of you. They have conspired to become enemies. In fact, they are blocking your way. When they see a way of breakthrough, they go and block it. They are conspiring. They, they, they refuse to give up at the time when you will have appreciated it the most. Beloved, don't give up. Because your help is in the Lord God of heaven. Amen. The maker of heaven and heart is the one that is going to help you. Amen. Because it learns where man will be boasting. Yes. They will be boasting. They will say without them, you cannot be. Mm. But because God does not want the glory of your breakthrough to be attributed to anyone, he mm. has decided to allow them to do what they are doing to you so that when your glory begins to shine, you will mm. not give appreciation and thanksgiving and praise to the wrong person. You will mm. give your appreciation straight to God. Your mm. help comes from the Lord God the Lord. of life. Who hey, heaven and earth, and hey, you will not allow your feet to stumble because hey, that feet you will not sleep. No, hey, man. number three, hey, man. you may be experiencing through robbery. You are experiencing robbery, all the good things in your life you are losing. You don't know why things are happening to you in the negative in this way, one after the other. It may be. Robbery in terms of your head. Mm. That is the work of Satan. Mm. The Bible says in John 10, 10 that the, the, the devil cometh not, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Yes. But the Son of God has come to give you life. Yes. And give you that life more abundantly. As I pray for you, prophesy to your life tonight, there will be a restoration of what you have lost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hey, Robbery, and there, are, there are some people sold to Satan. They are agents of Satan. They rob you of your promotion in your place of work. Hmm. Not, not only robbing you of your promotion, they are also robbing you of the favor you should, you should get. Behind you, they go to report you and say things that are negative about you, which must never, I mean, which was not a reflection of who you are at all. It is for a very short season because that season from today is passing away. Hey, a decoration is coming for you. Hey, in the man. name of Jesus Christ, a hey, new of elevation is coming for you. Hey, in man. The he that lifted me up will lift you up. Amen. The God I serve is the God you serve. And he's not a God of repetition. He, he, he lost his own. Hmm. And your season, your season had never come before. But now your season has come. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't know in whatever way the devil has robbed you of mm. anything good. Or maybe he has robbed you of your child, your robbed you of your family, your husband, or your wife. Why snatch us? Snatch your wife? Husband snatch us, snatch your husband? The Lord is taking war onto the, the adult stage. All those, all those thieves, all those usurpers, 
the law is going to render retribution to them. They will not escape in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, if Jesus did not escape, if the enemies, the Philistines and others did not escape after they had assaulted Israel, I, I, I trust God that he will not allow those who are robbing you, who are assaulting you, who do conspiracy against you, he will not allow them to escape. The season Amen. of judgment has come. That is why the Lord spared your life. He didn't allow COVID-19 to consume you. It's because he, he has received, I mean, he has received his glory for a later day for you. Yeah. And you are entering to it in the mighty name of Jesus. Let hey, me find out. Some people are laying ambush. 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 Setting trap for you. So that be, as you begin to rise, from others as if you might fall into another he that wants to lead you to captivity shall go to captivity amen he that is prepared to feed you with salt shall be killed with salt amen that is your heritage as a child of god and your righteousness is from the lord not yeah. from man well, the lord god of hosts yeah. beloved i want to pray for you hmm. i want to pray for you and as I'm praying, wherever you are, just be saying the fire, I mean, resounding amen. Amen. Because God that we call upon is a prayer answering God. Hmm. If God can give me victory over my enemies, he will give you victory over your enemies. Hey, there is no one who will come to this world that will not have an enemy. Hmm. Jesus had his own. No, he didn't. He didn't write application to have any enemy, mm. but they voluntarily made themselves the enemy of the law. Mm. So if the law couldn't escape having enemies, you cannot escape having one. Mm. Even the fact that you don't recognize your enemy does not mean that you don't have the enemy. Mm. But the law will not allow the rod of the wicked, who is your enemy, which you don't know. It will not allow the arrow to lie upon your lot in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If, if the arrow has been upon your lot before, that rod of the enemy, the Lord is going to swallow. And the rod of Aaron swallowed. And the rod of Moses swallowed. The rod of the enchanters in Egypt. The Lord is going to cause the rod of your enemy to be swallowed by fire of the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I, want to, I want to pray for you. Hmm. You are here. You are trusting God for something, something big. Fruitfulness in your business. Fruitfulness in the fruit of your body. Hmm. If you are trusting God for that, we are, you are place your two hands on your head. And I will pour the rain of prayer over your head. And you will be wet with grace of God from above to Amen. overcome that trouble, that problem in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In that Father, I lift up these people unto you. I don't know the area in which they are experiencing barrenness. I don't know the area in which the enemy is stealing your, what belongs to them. The devourer is devouring them right, left, and center. Especially, Lord God Almighty, I bring before you those who are experiencing a downturn in their businesses and also barrenness. The fruit of the womb is their desire. Everlasting Father, you have done it. You have done it before. A woman that had been barren for 15 years was brought from me, to me from in a city called Saki. I prayed over her. And the next year, next year, nine months after that, that woman was pregnant hmm. with and gave her to a baby boy. Everlasting hmm. Father, you are the same. I am not telling people what you have not done. I am telling them what you did and what you are going to do again. Therefore, everyone experiencing barrenness, either in the area of economy, in the area of business, or in the fruit of the womb, Lord God Almighty, I command 
that spirit of barrenness to disappear now to be cast out in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, man, you are an agent of the devil, and that is not your place. That is not your home. The strangers shall be afraid, and they shall be with trembling. Come out of their close places, wherever you are lodging, to do havoc, to cause barrenness, mm. to, to come down to in business, business gloom. I cast you out by the word of God in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray you that bless Anna, you answer the prayer of Anna. You are still alive, you are the same. Therefore, touch these people one by one. And they play their hands, their hands on their heads. Lord God Almighty, let a new season begin. A season of fruitfulness. I command upon your life, I command upon your business, I command upon your body in the name of the Lord Jesus. You Amen. that have been told that you have no span can, I, I, I change that negative pronouncement. And Amen. that negative back order, that biological abnormality, I change today by the power that is in the blood of the Lamb, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Let part of your body receive strength, ability to impregnate a woman in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You that have blood for no penalty, I command the Holy Spirit, I, I mean, I pray that the power of the Holy Spirit to do a surgical oppression in Amen. your reproductive organ. That woman, let a surgical operation by be done by the Holy Spirit by divine intervention. Let the ministering spirits minister to you right now and correct that anomaly in your reproductive organ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Help stop, be fruitful, multiply, Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let Amen. your business begin to witness and all such a boom in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. The Bible says in Genesis 39, verse 1, I mean, verse 2, that the Lord was with Joseph and Amen. everything he laid his hands upon prosper. Lord God Almighty, who was with Joseph, who called everything he did to prosper? I pray. That your abiding presence will rest upon these people that I'm praying for in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, your overwhelming man. abiding presence will bring prosperity into their lives, into their businesses, into their bodies. They will be fruitful in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, you are a God. It's a fruitful God. When you speak your word, things are created. Therefore, by the authority of your word into the lives of these people, oh God, let there be a positive turnaround in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your Amen. dryness be over in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let your dryness be over in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Is there anybody that is behind your deed? Such person, I cut off his power. And I, I put him or her into the dungeon, never to rise up to afflict or oppress you again in life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. There are some of your people here, oh God, who are passing through sicknesses in their bodies. Mm -hmm. They are trusting you for your inter intervention. They mm -hmm. are believing you that you who died on the cross the chastisement of, of their peace was upon you. By your strife, they have been healed. Therefore, I call upon you for them. And I call that sickness by name. In whatever way you are manifesting, I call you by name. In their bodies, in their brains, in their eyes, in their ears, in their stomach, in, the, in, in, in their bones, in their marrows, in, the, in their blood. We are in their brains, in their legs. We are ever in the veins of their body. We are ever you are. That spirit of infirmity, 
I cut you out now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. His work. The Bible says, and his work, he led them. Lord God Almighty. The Bible also concludes that their faces were not ashamed. Yeah. After this meeting of today, oh God, let your people come back with smile. In hey, your faces, man. in the name of the Lord Jesus, let hey, them come man. back smiling because of your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, begin to recover. Begin hey, to recover. Begin 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 to recover. If you have committed sin, the Lord will, will heal it. Therefore, eternal Father, I pray for the sick according to your word. Do what no man can do. Amen. Let your healing hands touch everyone that Amen. is hearing me see in his body. Is it Amen. cancer? Is it stomach trouble? Is, 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 is it epilepsy? Whatever. Is it brain trouble? Psychiatric problem? Hear the word of the Lord. Mm. I command you to fight this, to disappear, Amen. to leave your body in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We are created to the glory of God. They are created to the glory of God. They will manifest the glory of God. They will manifest the power of God. They will manifest the purpose of God for their life. Because Amen. their lives are dreaming. And you devil, you cannot disrupt it. You cannot. You cannot waste them away. Therefore, in the name of the Lord, begin to recover from your sickness. Begin Amen. to do what the Lord did before. In the Amen. name of Jesus, you that has lost your sleep, begin to recover your sleep back. I pray you out. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. I have no pressure to you out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the meetings will get you out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Amen. whatever way. People are being oppressed. Lord God Almighty, speak your word. Let your word set them free. In Amen. The name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The, of free, the Bible says, yeah. You shall be free indeed. Therefore, God, let them experience your total freedom. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Here, as the people hearing me, they need financial breakthrough. Hmm. They are children. School fees they need to pay, they are their bills they need to pay. We job is not coming, they are not being called to work, not that they are lazy. Everlasting father, hmm. I pray from right, left, and center. Come. Let her in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Everlasting Father, eternal God. Do you turn the little oil of that window into plenty? To the extent that throughout the period of famine, she was not witnessing famine any longer by the word of the prophet. Oh God, I stand as your prophet by the authority of your word that is coming out of my mouth. Oh God, turn the scarcity of these people to plenty in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let their situation be turned around. Let hey. help come for them. Let, let business boom in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord hey. God Almighty, hey. that provision is the need. And they have got no one to look up unto but you in your miraculous way. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Some hey. of hey. them are frantically looking for painful employment. Lord God Almighty. The work they are doing now is like slavery. Therefore, I pray you will change their story. Let Amen. you employment this your people in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the blessing of every end in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, they will no longer serve with servitude in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. They will not walk on it any longer in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. No God Almighty. The Bible says, I think so in the land. And he had hundredfold return. And the mm. man became rich. And he continued to increase until he became very great. Everlasting Father, 
that increase Isaac. That talk the situation of Isaac around. Lord God Almighty, whatsoever your people lay their hands upon and for, let him bring forth plentifully, let it yield abundantly. Amen. Lord God Almighty, give to them what they need and above what they need. They will not only they will have more than enough to spare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord God Almighty, Abraham. And Abraham became very great to the extent that where he was living was not able to contain him and his possessions. Amen. Everlasting Father, embarrassing blessing, embarrassing breakthrough. Amen. 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 There are many people to see them and be fighting and be saying, It is not the man you know, it's not this man. I don't know. I can't. I can't believe it. Lord God Almighty, a standing miracle of provision or breakthrough. Oh God, I pray mm. that you will open the door for your people in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, oh God, turn it to plenty. Amen. Better, better engagement, better employment. Oh God, where they have never been remembered, let them be remembered. Amen. In the desire of their heart, I pray that you will give it to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And you are having a court case. That court case today. Ah, no. Void. That was no effect. I, you, I, you are declared discharged and acquitted in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That is not making your heart to rest. Today, I confront it. And I come against that trouble that is troubling your heart. Today, today, finally disappear, be no more in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm passing through the place of recalcitrant children. Children who have gone wayward, who don't listen. And you are crying night and day. It is beyond your power. Even if you have called it, you have relaxed your hand of discipline well, when you were supposed to, to discipline them. May the Lord show you mercy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May God lay his hands upon that prodigal child and bring that prodigal child home in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Lord heal the madness in that child so that that child might be able to hear the voice of Jesus Christ. And become a chain man, a chain, a chain, a, a chain daughter, a, a chain woman in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That hope that the enemy has entered into and scattered your hope and uh, removed your peace by the agents of the devil who stole your husband of your wife, the one who stole what belongs to you. I command in the name of Jesus to have no rest of mind. Until he or she has returned that what belongs to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May your family begin to experience the peace of God again. May your family begin Amen. to experience the prosperity of Amen. God. Again. May your family Amen. come together in unity of God again in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. May your family be fully Amen. restored to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May Amen. who have come to your house be driven away by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May that way one on back they, they discover himself again and return to his family. Right. May that way one woman, why return to her, her matrimonial home again in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everlasting Father, perfect the work of this ministry. Amen. Blessing your people. Amen. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, those Amen. who help others, let them receive the final in the name of Jesus Christ. Help Amen. them to David and his family. Lord Amen. God Almighty, as the family has created a venue for many people to be blessed, I pray you yourself will take care of them. You will, you will labor for them. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will bless them, you will increase them. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I turn this ministry around for them in the name Amen. of the Lord Jesus. Father, so whoever comes here, don't let, let that person go in vain. Let Amen. them be sour with your blessing. Amen. In the name of blessing, that we 
they will remember for life. Amen. Let that be their portion. In the mighty Amen. name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, living redeemer. Thank you, Lord. Upon Man Zion, there shall be deliverance. Yeah. There shall be holiness. Yeah. The house of Jacob shall take their possessions. Yeah. And as the Lord took vengeance upon the life of Esau, and he pursued Esau, and, 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 and placed permanent cause upon Esau, everlasting father, I pray that all the forces that are against these people, I pray you will join them permanently in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So rise again in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All your enemies will not be able to rise again. Amen. God is going to take the battle to their doorsteps in the Amen. name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We have too many battles to fight. We Amen. extend that it will not happen again in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. It is begin to walk in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Thank you, Lord. Come and die on the top of deliverance. Yeah. We are in deliverance for your people today. A new season is, has begun for you today. A glory of God has come. Mm. The glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Mm. Enter into your season of joy. Enter mm. into your season of recovery. Everything you have written, you are Lord. Recover back, recover back, recover back, recover back, recover back, recover back. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you, sir. I am so blessed. so blessed. This is a fatherly prayer. And thank you for everybody. And I'm very sure, like we said, that nobody that turns in today, or even the thousands and thousands of people that watch later, that will listen to this and will go back the same way in Jesus' name. This fatherly blessing shall be permanent in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much, Daddy. We can't Amen. thank you enough, Daddy. From out of your busy, so busy schedule that you won't have time for your children. Just what we really, really thank you so much, Daddy. God bless you and God preserve you for us bless in you. Jesus' name. Daddy, All one right. more prayer before you okay. go, sir. The in UK, the uh, COVID thing is beginning to increase again. It's increasing. In fact, they're even thinking of uh, that the northwest in Liverpool area, not where Manchester, that they might even go on the lockdown. So just one of what of prayer, what of authority that our people will have contact with that contamination, that that COVID will not touch them, that we will not be, become a victim of COVID-19 in Jesus' name. So that's the prayer, Daddy. Thank you, sir. The Bible says, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. Hmm. You did not allow pestilence to come upon the children of Israel in Egypt. Everlasting Father, all your children, whether black or white, who believe in you, they are in UK, in US, or in other places where COVID-19 is ravaging, rampaging and ravaging people. I pray, eternal Father, that you will shield your own in Amen. Hey. Hey, man. We prophesy against COVID-19. We, we, I command you, COVID-19, stop your assault Amen. upon people in the mind of Jesus. Amen. The spirit Amen. that is behind COVID, that is moving COVID around, I command you to be locked up permanently in the dungeon of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Mighty, No pestilence will come near their, their dwelling. Amen. Command your angel to kill them in all their ways. Oh God, do not allow them to kill their, their feet again, again the priest or stone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. By day and by night, wherever they go, let the spirit, the blood of Jesus cover them. Let, them. let it be an immunity against every infection in the Amen. mighty name of Amen. You will not die. Amen. You will live. Amen. You will declare the goodness of the Lord. A Amen. thousand may fall by your right and your left. It will not come near you. With Amen. your eyes, you will, you will see. With your ears, you will, you will hear. But it will never be your experience. No devastation will be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are covered. 
Amen. You are covered, you are insured. Amen. By the blood now. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen and amen. 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 Thank you so much, Daddy. We're so blessed All to right. have you, Daddy. So please, Daddy, you know, help us share the benediction and uh, commit us to the hand of God. So much, sir. Thank you so much, Daddy. And unto him who is able to keep you from falling mm. and is able to present you faultless before his throne with exceeding joy, to the most high God our Father, I commit your spirit, souls, and bodies. May the Lord keep you and bless you. Amen. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Amen. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant Amen. you peace. Amen. Now, forevermore, in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much, Daddy. God bless us. Right. Everybody, right. have a great day. Thank you, Daddy. Please tap me there. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We really love you, Daddy. Thank you so much, sir. And we hope well with you. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you, sir. Thank All you, sir. Right. All Bye, right. sir. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Yes, sir. Bye, yes. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, just bring your name upon me. Just bring your name. Just bring your name upon me. Say, Father, to child. She needs to see. I did my word. And he tell me that's how I come alive. That's how you change your world. That's how I change my world. Say, Father, to child. Father, to child. Spirit to spirit. God is in the power of your That's how I change my world. That's how I change my world. Somebody lift your voice and say, Just breathe the name upon me. Just breathe the name upon me.
just preach the name of what they preach. Just like in your beginning, where I was before you found me, in the place of Koinonia. Just breathe your name. Just breathe the name upon me. Hey! When you breathe your breath upon me, everything that comes back to life. And I move from glory to glory. Just breathe your name. For there's a spirit in man, and the breath of the Almighty gives it understanding. Just like in the 